Hi everyone, welcome to the session where I'll show you how to load and run the python.py file in Jupyter Notebook and uh, along with this load and run we will use the following command like how to execute the environment variable and then we'll execute the percentage run, percentage load, we'll save the file with different option and I'll also, also show you how to write the file and how to use the history command with different kind of options. So let's start. So we will start with our Jupyter Notebook and what I will do, the very first thing is, first of all I'll show you my present working directory. This is inside this Peter load. Okay, there's no dot uh, py file. Then we will execute ls to see whatever is present here. And after this, we will execute percentage env. What are my environment variables and what all is present here? Okay, so you can use that. Now, what I will do, I'll show you by running a simple Python program. So what I will do, I am running here a for loop and just displaying the item in my list. I want to save this file here. Whatever file I have created, is created, I just want to save. So in order to write the file, I'll use percentage. I'll say file one dot py. Okay. So the thing is, I have not coded anything. So what I will do, I will just take the code from here and I'll paste it here. Okay. Now if I execute this and I'll run this ls command. So you can see file one is created and here also file one dot py is created. Suppose we have this file one dot py is already created and I want to load into my Jupyter session. For that we have to write percentage load. If it is present in the same working directory, then you have to just write this percentage load. Okay. And if you want to run this, then you have to give percentage run and then give file one dot py and it will be executed. Right. Suppose if my file is not present in the same directory, I will open some other directory. This is a directory where my file this list one dot py is present okay so what i will do i'll say percentage load and then py okay so what i will do now i will again run this percentage run dot py okay so you can see here from tell 100 it will be printed now uh, what i want to do is this is my python program okay i want to pass some parameters like externally i want to currently if you see my program okay this is my program. This is the file one. It is printing from 10 to 60, right? I want to add four more element like 70, 80, 90, 100. So what I will say here is y is equals to 70, 80, 90, 100. And I will open my file here. What I'll say list dot. Okay. If you see here, I have not defined y here, y variable. If I try to run file one dot py, it will say that y is not defined. If I uncomment this and if I run it now and still it says y is not defined because in order to pass a parameter, you have to use this variable i. Okay, this is the parameter and now if you run it, it will go, right? So with append, it's not printing. So what we'll do, we'll do extend. Now if you run this, it will be run in a sequence. At that time, it was like running from 10, 20, 10 till 60 and after that, 70, 80, 90, 100 was coming in a single line. Now it will go in a flow from 10 till 100. So I believe I am able to make you understand the most important thing what I have shown here is how to open the file if it is present in the same directory very simple you don't have to provide any path now if it is present in a different directory then you have to provide the entire path plus the file name dot py and similar is the case with load and in case of run if you want to add some parameters you have to pass hyphen i the way i have passed here now after this how does percentage command uh, history command you have to just pass this so whatever command we have used we are passing here what i will do here after i complete the save command with save how we will use the history command okay for save we have three different command raw r for raw f for post override and a for append so first of all we will say percentage save and we'll say file name is uh, save file one dot py if we execute this because we are not passing any parameter from where what content we need to save in our file for that we'll say percentage history if we execute this still percentage percentage history will not we need to provide some some value like from which line to which line we'll say to hyphen four so now this thing is being right to my save say file one dot py so what i will do here i'll just percentage load say file one dot py so whatever command was there four lines or four uh, different command was added here okay now if i want to append something okay so what I will say, my existing file is there. I want to spend some more line. So what I'll say, percentage save, and then the same file name dot py, and then I'll say percentage history, and in this I will pass some other values from I'll say that six to eight, okay, from line number six to eight. And if you execute this, it will ask us, okay, if I am appending it. No, I did not say append here. So I have to say a. If I execute this, my file is executed, right? And now if I if I say percentage load. So initially I had these three commands, right? Now if you see here, apart from these three commands, I have these commands. Okay, it is has it has appended. You can refer this site and you can say percentage save. These are the documentation for uh, 
IPython. So if you see percentage, use raw input. And for that, if I pass here percentage save, type in R and then I'll say okay. Yes. And if I say yes, enter. And if I give uh, percentage load save file one dot py, what I will do? I will add more. I'll say six till twelve. Okay. Now if you give here. So you can see all these thing whatever is being added here okay what i will do here is say with f option will forcefully override whatever is the content of my file say percentage save hyphen f and then i'll say save file one dot py percentage history history i'll say six comma twenty if i do this everything it will not ask me here it was asking right for a permission whether you want to write or not because of this forceful override or everything is being added to my file if i write here percentage load you can see everything is being added let's see the history option how it works so for that we'll say here and these are the different options which is present uh, here we will have different kind of options. now what we'll do we'll see how this history options work so if i simply type percentage history then all the different uh, whatever i've executed in this session in this video where i am recording it everything will be captured if i say history percentage history hyphen n then line number is added for to my each execution after that if i say hyphen o then what will happen all the cell execution is being added right from the very first ls pwd ls percentage environment now if i change it to p so you can see it's a kind of ipython where you have this shell uh, kind of thing whatever i executed all this arrow is coming here right after this if i change it to t behind the like jupyter notebook there is a function i get i underscore ipython and it will pass run line magic okay so there every time it will pass ls pwd ls p environment I mean, whatever I executed, it will be executed inside this get ipython run cell magic. After this, if I change it to f for f, what it will ask? It will ask you want to write the history to some file. I'll say yes, history dot py. So it will be, and if I come here, you can see his dot p file is created. After that, if I change it to g, everything will come here in this format run file and all the path of my temporary path and the directory path everything will be there now if i change it to l so whatever i have load and history command it will come here and after that if i change it to u everything again it is coming with percentage environment everything you can see so all the comment and everything is being displayed here so in this session i have shown you how to use the environment uh, uh, variable how to use the run and the load command uh, how to uh, read the .py file using the run and load and how to save the .py file how to use the history command and how to use the uh, like uh, write file uh, command so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in my next video thank you